You know how these YouTubers, like, I don't know, Peter McKinnon, have this gimmick, for example, drinking coffee, and then they start videos with like, ah, oh, this was so good, guys, whoa. Well, I was also talk thinking about, oh my God, English is so hard. So I was also thinking about having a gimmick, gimmick of my own, oh my God, my English language file is dissolving. So this is Noko anyways. This is, oh, thank you for sharpening this camera. So this is a Finnish brand and it's amazing. It says no carbs company. Well, isn't that nice? I'm kind of addicted to it. I drink it every morning after my morning run because coffee does not wake me up. <laughs> I'm resistant, I guess. And this has 180 milligrams of caffeine. So, you know, it kicks you in the face. Okay, now that my S is fueled, I'm gonna show you how I develop Figma plugins using Vue. So there is this Jackie who created Vue plugin template for all of us to use. And it's here, as you can see, it's beautiful. And it took a long time for me to actually find something that works because I stumbled upon like several Vue plugin templates and none of them worked for me. And they seemed quite complex and a little bit abandoned from their authors. And this one is actually a true gem and uh, it works. This is packed with some stuff that's maybe not needed for beginners or just somebody who wants to make plugin easily by not using, you know, some advanced stuff or not advanced, it's just different. For example, I don't use Pug at all. So I forked the whole repo and I removed Pug and I relinked some broken URLs. And uh, for example, instead of yarn, I'm uh, using NPM here. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible to start. And rest is currently the same, but I'm gonna keep upgrading and building on top of this really great foundation. So before moving on, I want to show you what this Figma plugin DS integration means. I'm gonna open this repo. So I think this guy works for Figma and currently he's making, I guess, new documentation site for this Figma plugin DS project. And this is all documentation you have right now for this really brilliant project. Basically, this is a design system for you to use when building plugins in Figma, right? And why would you even use this? Well, you should stay consistent when it comes to uh, building interface of your plugins because Figma already have some branding, some styles, some visuals, and it would be really weird and confusing and hard to memorize if every plugin out there would use something else, some different typography, colors and whatever. So this is a design system for you to freely use and that way your interface of your plugin will stay in brand. It will stay the same and it would look like it, it was made by Figma, for example. And that way we all use kind of the same patterns and practices. So it makes a little bit easier to immediately use all different plugins and it also uh, looks better when, when using it inside Figma. So consistency, you know, we want to have that. So for example, if you want to use button styles, like Figma default button, you see it throughout their interface, you just have your, for example, button uh, object and then you just stack this class inside and that's it. it, it actually looks like this. Your code will look like this. Button, button primary and you will see magic happens from there and that's it. Um, I'm gonna walk you through so it's not super uh, challenging for you to uh, follow along. Let's go back to, well, mine. First step. I'm not gonna open in GitHub desktop because I'm working on it already and it's just messier for me, so I'm gonna download zip. Okay, that was fast. Well, now you just need to extract it and open in your favorite code editor. 
and this is what you get. So you first open manifest JSON file and we can call this, uh, I don't know, let's think of some creative name, demo. And that's pretty much it, you don't have to touch anything here, but this is something you should pay attention to. This ID was generated when this Jackie Chui made this a year ago. And this ID is used for Figma to know which plugin is which, basically. And uh, it's a little bit problematic if you have the same ID as some other plugin, then how, like where updates go, actually. And I don't think Figma would allow that to uh, get published anyway. So I did some research and it seems that you can get a new plugin ID at the time of publishing your plugin. So that's great. So you don't have to worry about it. You will get your ID when you're ready to publish your plugin. So that's great. And uh, well, this part is done. Yes. And let's go to Figma and then you click on your username or login, like whatever this is. And then you go to plugins. Huh, as you can see, I use and test a lot of them. This is a plugin I am working on. Um, I'm trying to create a plugin that will generate uh, all typography for your design system using modular scale and uh, you know whatever comes with it. I'm not gonna go into too much details. I'm like going off topic here. You press plus over here. Let's write plugin name. It was demo. And then you need to link manifest JSON to your plugin. And well, this is already opened in my newly downloaded uh, folder from GitHub, you remember. And this is that JSON file we just tweaked. Open, boom, it's here. And well, when you click on it, it opens in, in Finder. But that's basically it. This is super simple. You basically download it. You change something in manifest.json, you open Figma, plugins, add new plugin, write a name, link with existing manifest JSON and manifest JSON, and that's it. That's that's all you need to do. Super simple. And then you have uh, your folders over here where you create uh, well interface and you write your code and blah 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 i'm not gonna go into like what to do now because i already did a tutorial that kind of covers like what should you do this is even simpler because it uses view so you don't have to write vanilla js and do all hard work yourself view will handle most of the things nicely just out of the box so even if you're a beginner and you don't have a clue what's happening i suggest you to check this out because um let's go to my fork because uh, this is actually a part that's a bit tricky like how do you send data from your ui that users see and interact with from app logic it's not very connected in Figma because of security reasons and I guess other reasons as well. So that part is a little bit messy to connect and by using this vanilla JS, well, there is some, some learning curve and you need to understand how that all goes. And it's sometimes a little bit messy. You need to write a lot to achieve very simple functionality. But if you use Vue, then you kind of skip all of that. So much less code, so much less hassle. And if you know, anything about React or Vue or Svelte or whatever front-end uh, framework it's popular these days, uh, you know how powerful it can be. Well, I'm blabbing a little bit here about Vue now. Um, anyway, have fun. Uh, let me know how it went. Um, I think this kind of integration with Vue is brilliant and I can't wait to use it more. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video. Oh, before I end, I actually wanted to share something with you. I have this design podcast called Design Party. I will link in the description below. So please visit 
uh, if you're interested listen uh, if it thinks if you think blah, 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 mm, if you think it's good and fun or whatever useful please share with your friends it would be super cool to get more traction so we would have you know this mental incentive to push more and publish more and also if you like my channel please subscribe um, I checked my analytics recently and most of the people like over 90% actually watch videos and they're not subscribed so if you like this video consider subscribing and also sharing with your design peers it would mean a world to me and um, that's it bye bye Anyway, why are you still watching this? Head to other videos and watch them and, and share with friends. Bye.